back again. We have a, a little bit of a, a marriage tip. Um, really enjoy hearing the feedback and the conversations around marriage. We think it's an important conversation that just needs to continually be um, brought to the forefront in each one of our married lives to feel like there's something we're growing in and learning in. And it was so fun because Janice had a chance to share to these women this past weekend and just share from her own experience and and then at the very end of the conference, our family was going to get up and sing, and Daddy got the microphone, Chad got the microphone, and he said, ladies, and he gave this word of admonition, and it just sealed the deal for all of us. Oh, what did you say? You were sweet. You know, I, I said, it's interesting, but in Scripture, in, in 1 Peter 3, verse 1, there's a promise to, to wives and to mothers. And, and the promise is this, that basically... Even an unbelieving husband would be could be won by the conduct or conversation, it says, but conduct of a wife, of a loving wife, a devoted wife. And I said, as a wife, don't ever underestimate the power you have to influence your husband for good, to be an effective uh, source of inspiration. God says you were, you were given to him as a help. And I'll tell you what, I can't imagine me... Uh, at this age and stage of my life without Janice's input into my life, without her being this source of, of encouragement, this, this strength, this someone who believed in me that, that was there when I needed her at so many different times. And, and I think wives sometimes kind of can stay back a little bit and kind of be like, oh, I don't know. No, realize that you're put in his life for a massive reason and a massive, um, a massive importance and don't underestimate the ability you have to be a strength to him in a way that um, maybe you, you might not see at first. And the second piece of that is that the, the scripture says there's a promise there that, hey, you'll be won by the conversation of the wives. And it says also, but you can do this without uttering a word, without even speaking a word. And I know that wives, well-meaning wives, will sit there and say, you hey. You don't want a pep talk <laughs> from me? She, a motivational speech. A motivational from me? speech. You would be good. You you have motivated me with your speech at times. But what's crazy interesting is wives trying to pep up or motivate or inspire, like, oh honey, here's here's what you could do, or here's what you should do, or you know, I saw so and such and such husband do this, and you ought to try that. It can be super unmotivating to guys for some reason. It can like flip our switch and turn us off and make us actually go the other way. We can actually like run. And so when it says one without a word, it speaks to the fact that Janice has influenced me more than I can ever tell you by the way she lives, by her own focused discipline, action, activity, pursuit of the Lord, pursuit of great things, taking care of herself physically. You know, you want to motivate your husband to take care of himself physically, you take care of yourself physically. You want him to motivate him to grow spiritually, you grow spiritually and just pray and go about your business deepening your own relationship with the Lord. You want to encourage him to be this parent, you know, and you be that parent and 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 model that. And it's crazy how a husband, we notice what's going on. We do. We're observing and we see what's going on. And Janice has lit a fire into me so many times by her own actions without seeing a word and has inspired me, has motivated me, has challenged me. So the word here today is don't underestimate the ability you have to influence your husband, wives. Don't for a moment. You are there as a powerful source in his life to change and transform and build and support in all the things that are good and noble in him. And the second part is Feel free to do this without uttering a word. Live it, model it, chase after it yourself pray. and pray diligently for him and watch what God does in the heart of your husband. Anyways, that was kind of our little uh, tidbit there and I just hope you find use in that in some way today and it could be helpful for you. And if it is, grab it. And if it's something that you think a friend or somebody else could use, go ahead and share it. Have a phenomenal day. We will hear. Let's do it.